Now, following today's decision, 2024 presidential candidate uh, Vivek Ramaswamy, he reacted on Twitter saying it is, quote, time to put a nail in the coffin of affirmative action in studio. I never met you before. It's great to see you. How are you? You doing all right? No, doing great. Uh, we've enjoyed having you on. You know, I'll tell you, let me just say this, and I'm a little off topic, but, you know, Chris Christie is not a serious candidate to me. He's running because he hates Donald Trump and he wants to be basically used by the Democrats. You're running because you have a belief system that you're fighting for. And any candidate that is serious about about the issues that are facing this country, uh, your voice is important to me. His voice is meaningless. Um, now, let's get your reaction to today. So one of those values, Sean, that defines the American values themselves is meritocracy, that you get ahead in this country, not on the color of your skin, but on the content of your character and your contributions. I have lived that American dream. That means something to me. And I think the Supreme Court stood on the side of justice today. But that's not enough. This is a step on the way to really now eliminating race based preferences in every sphere of our lives. On the day that I launched my presidential campaign this February, I pledged to rescind the executive order written by Lyndon Johnson that creates affirmative action race based preferences in the economy. That requires any company that does business with the federal government. That's over 20 percent of the U.S. workforce today to adopt these same race based systems. I've said that as U.S. president, I would take a line and cross out that executive order. We are done judging you on the basis of the color of your skin. We're restoring merit, putting that merit back into America. If we care about our kids, I I did learn a little Latin. I went to Catholic schools for 12 years. All right. And I had to study Latin and theology and go to mass every day when I showed up. Um, uh, That's even to school, not only, you know, mass. Um, (laughs) But but the word education, its Latin derivative is educare, to bring forth from within. Mm. And, that, and to me, mm. that's predicated on a belief that God created every man, woman and child in this on this earth. I believe that with all my heart. Yes. And inside of every individual, like we all have a unique fingerprint. He put talent in every individual. He did. And a good educational system is shouldn't be cramming information in their heads but offering the water and the nutrition uh, and the sunlight to bring out of them that which God put in them. We're not doing that. We're failing these kids spectacularly. And this unholy alliance with the Democrats and teachers unions drives me nuts. Why have we allowed that to continue? You said it beautifully, Sean. And I think one of the things we have to do is define merit. What does merit mean? You actually said it really well. It means a system where everyone, no matter who they are, can achieve their own God-given potential. Some on sports fields where we don't apply race-based preferences, some in the classroom, some in music, whatever their God-given potential is, to achieve that without any human being standing in their way. That's what a meritocracy is. That's what America was founded on. The teachers' unions, a big problem actually, Sean, starts with the Department of Education at the federal level. Biden, what did he say today? As soon as that decision came down, He said he was going to direct the Department of Education to find alternatives. That's why I've said that as U.S. president, I would shut these bureaucracies, including the Department of Education. I will shut it down because that's actually a source of these race based preferences that find their way into our schools. How did Joe Biden and I brought it up? Very few others brought it up. How did he in this campaign in 2020 get away with the truth? That he had partnered with a former Klansman, a guy he praised often, Robert Byrd, and fought against the integration of public schools because he didn't want public schools to become, uh, to to use, well, his words, racial jungles. Now, your president said that. Does that surprise many of you? Does not. No, well, it doesn't. Okay. Here's here's because you know Joe. All right. Here's the dirty little secret. Yeah. Affirmative action, this is a form of psychological slavery designed actually to stop minorities from outperforming. Because actually this is their excuse, Sean, for exerting their power, dominion and control. If black Americans actually prospered, they would no longer have an excuse to implement policies that had very little to do with empowering anyone. Affirmative action has been disastrous. It hasn't helped black Americans. It hasn't helped white Americans or Asian Americans either. So in a certain way, that dirty little sordid side of racism from before, that's not a hypocrisy. It's actually part of the same vision 
of holding minorities down if that's what's going to allow the Democratic Party to get ahead. Let's it's the offer, same Democratic Party that offered slavery that supports a psychological slavery today. If you care about kids' education, start when they're young and every child should have choice and the yes. parents will choose the schools that offer a superior education. That's Let's, true equality of opportunity. And if there's one thing it means, group equality and meritocracy, they're not compatible. We choose meritocracy. Great to meet you. You get to throw us out. Hey!